How's everybody doing today? Have a good look at that. If you guys haven't seen this before, I, I was trying to get a key for this to look it up. I just wanted to show you guys the size of that thing. All right. I love this right here, the USB charger. If you guys haven't seen that before, obviously this, the 12 volt. Actually, I like that cover. That's that's actually a, an updated cover. I might see if I can get that one for my bike. Um, yeah, I was looking to see if I could get this thing turned on to show you guys a really good up look to it. And uh, the LED light, you guys have seen the LED lights. Um, this one here is the 570. Now with being the 570 with the ride command, I've only ever seen them in, in Polaris commercials with the 570s and so i was just told that there actually is um an 850 over here or 1000 over here with the with it so i'm just gonna have a quick look and see if i can find a larger bike with ride command and i didn't have to walk far so in fact here it is uh cut sewn seat you know funny thing is i don't actually see wrinkles in this one you know that last video i put out it she is pretty loose though that's great. That's actually a nice looking seat. That's a super comfortable seat. I just don't sit on mine a whole lot. Um, the uh, blue shocks on this thing look sweet. I really wish they would upgrade their suspension, like put Fox shocks on or something like that. That'd be cool. But uh, this is the 2023, and this one actually has ride command. And like I said, I've never seen any commercial from Polaris where any of the big bores have ride command. So this is actually the same thing. Um, actually, the funny thing is the buttons on this, if you look at this, and this one's on the 570, so the ride command is the same. 570, the way she looks on that, she has a much wider seat, that's the other thing about it. Um, so it's a lot wider stance, that's one thing about the smaller bikes that makes it a little bit harder for if you're an older person. You might want to consider getting something like the uh, 850 1000. Like as I walk up to this one right here, you can even see it how that seat just narrows right out so like when you're on these bikes um it is just it's narrower right through here so when you're sitting it's a lot more comfortable like they said especially like when you look down you're it's even narrow right here when you're stepping um or sitting uh it just it's like riding a dirt bike almost like that in that sense so i've been thinking about calling and talking to deer haven because that's where i'm at deer haven bevel ontario and seeing if I could get a bike, but it doesn't look like I'm going to, because uh, for media, they would call them a demo and they just lose too much money on a demo. And they, you know, even if I put 200 kilometers on a bike just to get it home and test it, uh, people wouldn't want to buy that. You just want to buy a, a new one. So, oh, look at that. This one actually comes with bumpers on it again. I remember in 2019 um, when these things did, I wonder, is this one a used bike? I don't know if you guys know this or not, key or not, you just come up and hit the uh, odometer and I almost got 0.7. So this is actually a brand new bike. So all you gotta do is hit the mode and it actually brings up the clock and the odometer on it. Um, typically it shows the fuel as well. You can do that with any one of them. This one here is a 570 and these things all work the same way. So if you hit the hit the menu, 1.1 kilometers. So you guys can always check that and see how much fuel is. Every one of these things have one bar. Uh, so, anybody interested in buying these things so the only thing that's changed really in design or anything is color so the red that you get up here has changed in 2023 from the red uh, in the 570 and the 1000 i think uh to from the red to oh man he said it crimson blue i think no not scrimble uh, oh, it's a blue anyways you get a blue color now so they got rid of this red so if you want this red if you like this red get to your local dealership as fast as you can order it before the season's up we're coming in in october here that they're going to stop producing these bikes if they haven't already and uh this color is no good uh, not going to be around anymore just something for you guys to think about so they got rid of this and they're going to a blue uh, for 2024. The styles haven't changed. They all look pretty much the same. I like how they did finally upgrade the LEDs on these things here to look more like the 1000s. I think what Polaris needs to do is kind of what Can-Am did and make these things the same as these just with the smaller displacement engines. That's where Polaris really needs to shine on. Uh, why doesn't this have a cup holder? They finally put the buckets, bucket rings on here but again, with the wide seats and no cup holder yet, if you want a cup holder, look, you gotta get an 850 or 1000. 
and you get a cup holder. And if you're not careful with that, you get tea or pop or coffee all over the bike. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm here at Deer Haven in Belleville, like I said. And uh, I just thought I'd give you guys a quick overview what these guys have in stock. If you guys are looking at buying everything from a 570 Ranger, uh, there's an XP Razor, another XP Razor, another Pro right here, another Pro beside it. That's actually a, an R Turbo R. Look at the size of that machine. Holy, wow, is that a large machine. You can pair these guys. That is a big machine. <laughs> another Turbo R, four seater. Actually, the funny thing is, for being a four seater, it's not a whole lot bigger than his little brother right beside it. Wow, I think would just float too, being a four seater. Prices on these things would be the roof, through the roof. Anyways, that's it, guys. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Like I said, I was really, really hoping I could show you guys the ride command. Uh, we just can't find a key for any of these ones with ride command, and they all have to be set up. Uh, so you have to sign into them and everything. So. Uh, maybe in the next week or so when I, I'm going to come back up here in maybe two weeks or so and uh, He said he's going to try to have one of these things programmed So I can start it up show you guys close up how this all works and how the buttons and everything work because funny thing is Like the other one um, There's no menu on this so I can't actually even get the kilometers. That's the one thing with ride command. You're very limited uh, I don't know if you just upgrade this how ride command works I, I don't know if this how this plugs in if you guys are interested look it up um, you may or may not be able to put ride command it all depends on how this thing here gets power and where it gets a signal from so like I upgraded from 2020 to 2021 style in the, the pod where I changed it into the, this more sleek design and they don't have anything here with the older design um, even in the 450 and the 570 they all have the all that's where they look the same they're all the same light pods on them now which is a massive design upgrade as far as i'm concerned but when it comes to the ride command on uh the xp 1000s and this one here is actually like the 850 and you can see the difference in the size i actually like the sleek design i think this thing here needs a new design but other than that um it's it's nice i like it but uh that ride command she's a pretty chunky size size when you compare it to that anyways that's it for me today guys hope you guys found this video helpful if you liked it and uh give deer haven a call oh man that is a sweet red okay uh, pro xp or not that is that is sweet i like that dark red that's if i was going to buy a machine this would probably be the one i buy just because of the color i like it it's like this uh is that the matte orange or is this the metallic that's the metallic that's the same that's the same orange as my bike Except that that one's a metallic instead of flat. I saw another razor, the same color as this actually a couple years ago. It looks nice in that orange. That's a nice orange. All right. I digress. I'm ending it. Peace, love, happiness. I'll see you guys in the next one.